So this is the first time I'm traveling in the COVID situation. It's not too bad. People aren't practicing social distancing, but it is what it is. The reality, face mask, fear, you gotta overcome it. Didn't wanna give me nothing. Yeah, I blow the back then I could let it Yeah, bro, the one thing that Florida got on all these other states is the humidity. Picking up the car, picking up the car, whatnot. How's it going? Morning, morning. Morning, morning. Morning, morning. How's it going? <laughs> no, let me throw the shades on real quick. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, man, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna give you guys a little summary of what's been going down. And you're like, yo, Larson, where the fuck, what you been doing? No, and, and um, something. Kanye, you want banana for me? Out here in Disney right now with the fam. I'm just feeling blessed right now, man, to be able to be out here with my family. My grandmother, who hasn't traveled in more than 30 years, taking my daughter to Disney. It's what life's all about, man. Just being with the people you love, sharing these amazing moments with the people you love. There's much more to life than just this fucking handheld device that we're always on, you know? There's much more to life. We gotta just try to live it. At the best part right now, I'm about to pick this up. Coffee and whatnot. Headed to Universal right now with the gang and whatnot. Haven't been here since I was like 10. About to see what this shit's about. Let's see what Universal working with. Yeah. 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 We gon' slide down on your block with the tech. Two twenty threes in the glove you wet. You wanna play? Damn, you not in a good mood today, my boy. He don't like the camera. Look at him. He's just staring at me. Yo, where the biddies at, my boy? I heard you got all of them in, da in Davenport. Is that true? We out here, you feel me? This spot is supposed to be the best spot in Orlando. That's what they say, so we about to try it out, see what's up. About to try this lunch truck vibe real quick. Oh, this hella sauce. Get this. About to see what's up. Very saucy, like me. Very saucy, just like me. Let me try some of the alcapuria. Got the alcapuria next. I don't really like this. I like the pinchos better. Banana shake. This is good. The goal of this video just to kind of update you guys on what I've been doing. Try to be as transparent as I can with you guys. Trying to explain to you guys why I've been so distant. I want to apologize for being so distant. I feel like I owe it to you guys. I kind of feel like I left you guys hanging and I don't really fuck with that. And those weren't my intentions. My intentions weren't to leave you guys hanging or nothing. It was just, you know, life hit me. That's why I'm doing this video now. I was just running into a lot of problems with like labels. A lot of labels were hitting me up. I was getting a lot of meetings. You know, like I was going into these offices and I was seeing a lot of shit that I didn't like. And you know, basically to make a long story short, this one label, a distribution label, tried to, you know, get a contract with me. And we were talking, they were taking me out for dinner and this and that and whatnot. And um, they basically played me, basically played me. Um, and I was real disappointed. At the end of the day, man, like we're all human. We're all human. We all go through things. We all go through hardships. Nobody's perfect. Even the most successful person out there is going through it. If everybody was perfect, it would be a perfect world. And this world is definitely not perfect. Number one, 
I took too long to drop music because I was waiting for the fucking label. I was waiting for that fucking label to drop my music and send it out to all these blogs. And, you know, that was just my mistake. You know, I never, uh, I'm not really experienced. I just started making music. I linked with Fat. And, you know, shit kind of started to blow up. Waiting for the label. They they took like two, three months, no response. And, you know, I didn't drop music for like two, three months. So I lost a little bit of momentum. And then I started questioning myself. I was in a little funk. I was like, fuck. Oh, I was also about to have my, my firstborn, my firstborn child. And I was just stressed out. I was pressured. I, I didn't know what to do. I was like, damn, like I'm about to have a kid. I was overweight and unhealthy, feeding my body bullshit. And I'm a firm believer. If you feed your mind bullshit and your body bullshit, you're just going to be walking shit. And I wish I could just give you guys one short answer, but I can't. One easy, simple answer, but I can't. It's a, it's a, it's various amounts and series of events that contributed to, to me distancing myself from, from everything. Just distancing myself, just, you know, kind of like disconnecting from social media. I felt like that was another thing. Social media was just too much, like being on my phone all the time and... And, and, you know, oh, like, this isn't getting the certain amount of plays and that isn't getting the certain amount of plays and numbers and just too much stress on the mind. When it's all said and done, I think being a father changes you. It gave me a whole new perspective on life. I started thinking about life differently, having different views, because now it's a different ball game. I have a life, I have to, I have a life to live for. I have to provide for my daughter for my family. So basically my goal was just to disconnect myself, get healthy mentally, physically, be there for my family. You know, I, I, I own a property, so the goal was to take care of the property um, and just become a better version of myself. I honestly didn't like the person I was becoming. Like I felt like I was becoming a character of myself. I felt like I wasn't being my full self. And at the end of the day, if you're not your full self, you're not trying to promote positive shit and do positive things. It's like, what are you doing it for? As cliche as it sounds, you have to be yourself. Change the money, the cars, none of that shit matter. When, what really matters is if you're satisfied with your true self. And you'll never know that if you're just lying to yourself and fake followers, fake watches, all of that. They're just lying to themselves. And I get it. Like, don't get me wrong. I get it. I get that it's the business part of the business, but I just feel like I was just tired. Like we all go through these things, whether it's anxiety, depression, and I just think that these are things that people should touch on more, these real life situations that we go through. I feel like we live in a day and age where people like to demonize that type of stuff, where they think that, oh, like I can't show, I can't show it because or else I'm pussy. Nah, that's not, that's not it. And so, yeah, it was just a buildup of a lot. You know, and like I said, I wish I could give you a simple answer, but I can't. That's the story. I'm sorry if you guys didn't like it, but I'm just being honest, bro. And the music's coming soon. It's going to keep coming. It's just going to keep rolling. Just give me the feedback.